Hey, look what I got here, guys. So, uh, just a short vlog of uh, uh, of what I'm doing. So, I've already done an unboxing of the Up Air one. The first one I've got. This is number two. This is uh, Deuce uh, Up Air. So, as you saw in my last one, I crashed it. It was a minor crash, but it damaged the the cable and shorted out the main board of the the controller. So again, I've had the battery and all the other stuff, so I decided for 300 bucks just to order another one because, uh, you know, I can you reuse the battery and the other parts here? I'm trying to organize this a little bit here so I can see. This one appears to be a little bit different. On my first one, I didn't have the red dots here. There was just recessed um, pieces. So I'm really interested in seeing how... Uh, this one is versus my first one. Also, the first one had a little bit of um, uh, gimbal jiggle in it. Now, the interesting thing is this has a cover over the lens. My first one didn't have a cover over the lens. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do in the next video, though, let me pull this out of here so I can set this in here a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, I'm going to do a mod on these to keep this from pulling out like it did before because there's just no way with such a minor crash it should have caused that much damage. Uh, that I was very disappointed with. Although this uh, this does seem a little bit different than my first one. I'm just kind of looking it over. A lot of the things look the same as my first one. Um, and I'm just wondering how all this uh, is. And I'm going to take a look at it. I'm going to take a look at the inside. Mm. The one thing on the batteries on these things is the way that they go in there. Pretty tough. Um, looks like the same version. Uh, version. Let me let me just double check this. So I've got it. So the uh, my my first one was up air uh, version 1.0.02. And it looks like it's the same board revision number. Although, interestingly enough, there's some sort of handwritten sticker on it in there. So I'm interested to see. The wiring looks, in general, the same. One of the things that I'm going to do, and one of the reasons I'm doing this video, too, I should point out, is I'm going to pop this, this gimbal off here, and I'm going to take a look at the wiring. I'm going to figure out how to pop these off, so I might split this. Um, but I want to document the wiring of this, and let me let me throw this box on the floor because what I want to do is I want to pop this gimbal off, and I want to document how the wires go into the uh, the piece. Now this does look a little. Let's let's compare them. Now this is the gimbal from the first camera. Now, what one of the interesting things to note, look at how look at how the camera is tipped on this original gimbal and look at how the camera is tipped here. Now, I had a viewer write in about his camera being crooked. And one of the things I think uh, is part of the problem with this, if you look back in one of the videos, there's a weight inside the back of this camera. Most of this camera's weight is actually a metal weight that's hot glued in here. Uh, I think what happens is the quality control is just poor and the it's not it's not balanced in there as it should be. And so you see this one is actually better balanced than this. And I wonder if that's what some of the problems that I was getting for shaking is uh, this was not the the weight is not balanced. I'm going to take it apart in a future video and kind of show you, but I think it's worth talking about. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this off and uh, show you guys the wiring. So in case, well, for my purposes too, in case I crash this one again, I know the right way to wire it back. And then if you guys crash, you know the right, right way to wire this back. I'll spit it out. So let's go ahead and pop this off and then we'll come back to this video. Okay, so I've pulled the, uh, undid the clips on the gimbal to... Uh, open it up and expose it. So here's what it looks like now. The interesting piece is the wiring configuration appears to be the same as in the original version. However, the colors of the wires are different. Now this is more classical, what I've seen on the internet. And here is from my first Up Air 1. Now you notice that all the wires are either red or black, whereas the wires in this case are uh, red, red, blue, brown, black, black. 
and so we have the um, the the power and stuff coming from the main board because this ties out if I can show you I get it out of the bag here not being too cooperative is this comes off of the main board make sure I get it in frame here this comes off the main board right here so this is the main control board so this is where I think it's pulling most of the power and then what's happening is the um, other three wire feeds coming off the control board in other words um, make sure I get it in frame here right here is coming down to this back set and then this set I believe is going to the transmitter itself so I'm not sure if the OSD is actually in this module with the gimbal or the OSD is on here and the gimbal is simply mixing the signal with the um, uh, video from the camera to create the uh, output to the screen so but I did want to do this to document this for my use as well as anybody else's use as to what is the wiring configuration of the gimbal here so in case something does happen you don't do like I did in the first video and end up damaging the board trying to put it back together because you don't know how it goes back together um, so I'm not sure I'll be able to get in there to really see how this goes together because it's quite a bit to take this all apart and I really don't intend on doing that. So I'm making the assumption though that it pretty much does go back sort of like this in a parallel uh, format back up into the main control board for power. And then what's happening is the two power lines, I'm not sure the voltage, I may try tracing the voltages out uh, later or actually from this other board, see what I get. Um, but I'm also assuming that somewhere in here that these other two lines are signal lines to control the tilt of the gimbal from the control. Um, just, just a guess because I'm looking at these other lines and because I have a red and a black, so power and a ground uh, along with a signal from the OSD. But I think it is a vector OSD, so it's doing an overlay on the video and then output to the video so you have... Um, power and signal out to the transmitter which is in the silver box in the back so anyways um, again I want to document this uh, for anybody out there looking uh, on the gimbal configuration um, what it looks like in case you got to fix it here it is if you have any questions hit me up below the subscribe button will be coming over there in a minute uh, in the next video though I should mention we're gonna look at how to secure this uh, gimbal a little bit better but that'll be in the next video so cheers see you in the next video